Oh yeah, we got some news to talk about. Ob one plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Ob one plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some big 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 gaming news a couple of dope gaming news items for this video first give the video a big <laughs> you see how big that thumbs up is a big thumbs up all right i know dudes would be like oh be what where's the news videos where's the news videos i told y'all before 2k came out i was gonna be on a 2k grind but I am, I'm going to um, transfer all my 2K content to my gaming channel and keep this channel for my news channel. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. So, um, I will, I'll be streaming on my gaming channel. I was thinking about doing my Metroid impressions, my first impressions, um, either on this channel or my gaming channel. Not sure yet, but let's get right to the news. Bro, Metroid Dread has done the impossible well i sort of called this i knew this was gonna happen when the game got announced um as i saw more and more gameplay it is now the best selling and i quote best selling metroid game of all time according to attack of the fanboy.com that's where i'm getting this information from <coughs> they're just reporting it Initial sales are starting to come out, and it's already um, doing pretty good in the UK. I think it debuted at number three because ain't nothing beating FIFA and another like big big game. But it seems like this is going to be. Not seems like this article is saying it's, it is the best selling game of all time. But I'm waiting for more official numbers to come out. But Stevie Wonder could see that this is going to be the best selling a Metroid game of all time. The Switch console just sells um, Nintendo first party games like crazy. All kinds of records. Animal Crossing broke records. Breath of the Wild broke records. The Switch is reviving a lot of Nintendo franchises. All of Nintendo con um, games, they don't have to split the sales between a handheld or home console version all in one package and so it's a no-brainer that these games are gonna sell and so metroid dread metroid dread looks to be uh, um not looks to be breaking it's already breaking all kinds of records and i say this <laughs> great for the metroid franchise and metroid prime 4. metroid prime 4 still my most anticipated switch game bro metroid even though um it's it's samus has been hailed as the t one of the three you got mario link and samus samus has always been a b tier um character for nintendo especially the franchise metroid has been a niche franchise even though it's one of my favorite franchises of all time super metroid still my favorite uh metroid game the first metroid prime my favorite 3d metroid game but um, I'm glad that this game is bringing Metroid to the masses because once this game was announced, I already seen dudes that's never touched a Metroid game before um, say, oh, um, I got to play Super Metroid. It's on the uh, NES online. And I saw an article the other day that's saying other Metroid titles have benefited in sales because of this game. <laughs> this game has piqued curiosity from fans who are, have have um, don't know anything about the series and so great to see great to see metroid dread breaking records breaking records best-selling metroid game of all time i called this when the game was first announced and it looks like it's going to happen bro next news item this came out a couple weeks ago but i didn't talk about this and, I, and not a lot of people really talked about this the playstation 5 is the first console to have 
an 8K 60 frames per second game. The Tourist. This game came out on the Switch, I think, over a year ago or whatnot, but it's being ported to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I'm convinced PlayStation 5 is a better performing console than the Xbox. It's, it's, it, at this point, who's still debating it? All of these multi-plat games just run better on the PlayStation 5. And this is another example. This runs at 8K 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 5 and only 6K 60 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. And Digital Foundry did an analysis and they are um, um, attributing the PlayStation 5's speed its ability to um, process things faster than the Xbox as to why the game can perform better on the PlayStation 5. This is how I compare the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. One's a Lamborghini, one's a Hummer. A Hummer has more horsepower I think than a Lamborghini. Maybe this is a bad analogy, but just stick with me. A Hummer, I know this is true, could probably pull more weight. Yeah, this is the, this is it. A Hummer can pull more weight than a Lamborghini. It's more powerful. It's a stronger car. But will you have? Would you rather have a Hummer or a Lamborghini? Come on, bro. Everybody's choosing that Lambo, bro. Because <laughs> the performance is just better, bro. It's a faster vehicle, bro. And so this is that's my comparison. The PlayStation 5 is a Lamborghini, Xbox Series X is a Hummer. <laughs> On paper, it's stronger, but the performance, uh, all these multiplayer games are saying the same thing. Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't lie, bro. That's all I gotta say. All right, next news item. Speaking of Xbox Series X, this is coming from Games, GameSpot.com. Microsoft is reportedly thinking about letting users repair their own devices. The company behind the Xbox is taking its first steps towards giving gamers the right to repair. I don't know how this is going to affect your warranty, but Xbox will start allowing or they're um, uh, experimenting, allowing users to repair their own console. Where you could Because I remember seeing the take the when, before the Xbox Series X launched, there were videos, there was a video online where people were taking apart the console, and it's very, it's almost like Legos inside. And one piece goes on top of there, one piece goes to the side, and it seems like it's very easy, like if a part is broken, to take out and replace. Interesting to see how <coughs> this will affect your warranty if Xbox start allowing users to do it. I'm sure this could probably save them some money. Y'all remember the Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death? was very expensive for xbox to um ship repair then ship back those consoles and so xbox like y'all fix your own consoles all right next news item the next big game that's coming out metro dread just dropped i still need to beat Ke I, I am i'm probably gonna platinum keen of bridge of spirits at the end of the month mario party superstars um will be coming out remake of classic mario party games i will i will be getting this game playing this game with the sponsors lake show i know you're watching this video i know it put a smile on your face i know you're gonna hit me up in voice chat later on the discord y'all become a, a sponsor join a dope gaming community um i will be playing this game with the sponsors it comes out at the end of the month the reason for this is an all new um trailer <laughs> nintendo just dropped an all new um, trailer for the game so go and check it out on the official youtube channel but mario party is a classic bro it's a classic it's a classic it's a classic this is a fun it's going to be a fun multiplayer game if you have dudes to play with and last but not least for this video the nintendo switch oled seems to be doing pretty good in sales as far as uk is concerned according to nintendoeverything.com the switch oled is selling significantly better than the switch Lite thus far um if you compare the first initial week of sales the switch oled is outpacing the switch Lite, which is pretty good 
I didn't end up getting the console, man. I have, where's my Mario console? I have, I bought seven or eight consoles. I've given away two Switches. I have like four active in my house right now. I just bought the red Mario one. I was about to get the OLED. Y'all saw me do that video where I camped out at GameStop, did all that stuff. But I ended up, I was like, when I thought about it, the power of the console, and I play all, 99% of my Switch gaming is docked and it's no reason for me to get it if this the same exact power of the current console great if it's a handheld if you're if you primarily game handheld i heard the screen is beautiful it's large nintendo give me a switch pro next year then we can talk all right dudes those are the news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bruh we out peace